What's up guys, it's your boy Mikey Bustos here bringing you another Ant video here on the Ants Canada Ant channel. Um, how's everybody doing? I uh, just wanted to create this video to update you all on um, the queen that I showed in my previous video, the Ecophila Smaragdina queen that uh, came into my possession uh, just a few days ago. Um, she was originally kept as you saw in the last video in a test tube setup but then I decided to move her into a little bit more of a spacious container uh, type setup where you know I had a little leaf in there um, and I even put a little moist ball of tissue uh, to keep her moist and um, the reason I decided to move her from the test tube setup was because I um, knew that in the wild these uh, freshly mated DLAs just kind of like hang out at the bottom of a leaf um, in a tree and then they lay their eggs which stick to the leaf and when they hatch they turn into larvae um, and then the, the larvae eventually um, enable her to create a silk like chamber for herself um, and that's how she creates her claustral chamber so I, I figured unlike the, claust the fully claustral ants that um, you know, are terrestrial that fully live under the ground, subterrestrial, I, su I should say, um, that prefer tight quarters, you know, underground, in the dark. Um, I decided to put her in a more, I guess, spacious container, um, still small and enclosed. Um, and I put a leaf in there just in case she needed a little bit of green, you know, to start her egg laying. Um, and, and as I said, a ball of moist uh, paper towel tissue uh, to keep her. Uh, hydrated um, and I just checked on her it's been just a few days and surprisingly the queen has eggs just two I hate to disturb her but um, let's see if we can zoom in there I don't want to disturb her too much See those two eggs there? Sorry, Queenie. So, in just a few days, the lovely queen has eggs. See, here's the setup I've made for her. Damp paper towel, a leaf, it's actually a bamboo leaf little hole at the top um, that she can't fit through right here um, for me to just drip more water into there in case she needs it or and also to give her air now I've been storing this in the dark under my okay I'm under my uh, kitchen sink near my water heater Sorry, had to put her back. <laughs> I didn't want to cause her extra stress because, um, you know, I mean, got to respect their queens, right? While they're trying to found a colony. Um, anyways, um, yeah, she's been kept under my sink in the dark, uh, close to my water heater. So she's just kept at, I don't know, a little warmer than room temperature. Um, here in my room, it's... Uh, the temperature varies depending on whether I turn on the air conditioning up there <laughs> or whether I turn it off but uh, under the sink it's kept away from all of that drastic up and down of temperature um, here in the Philippines it's very hot <laughs> so I mean the species is built for warmer temperatures and I recognize that so I've been trying to mimic I guess what she would be going through in the wild um, which is why I don't mind taking her out here in the light to show you guys because I mean in the wild during this first period of the colony founding process they're up in a tree you know and they see the light and day um, but otherwise if this was just the normal claustral queen under the ground I would probably be leaving her alone for the first at least 10 days but I just wanted to create this update video to let you guys know that she does have eggs and the colony, I guess, is well on its way. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope she continues to successfully found a colony of uh, workers. Thanks, guys, for watching. Love ya.
ביי.